Welcome to the Geeks, Listen to the Podcast. This show, we talk about shows, movies, video games, and cool stuff we see during the week. I'm your host, Edward Prizes. With me sometimes. Bubbles. Where the fuck you been? You all miss me? A little bit. Well, I wasn't getting paid, so. I mean, you're still not getting paid, Strike. so then there's no difference. Strike. Strike? Yeah. Okay. You still lost the strike. You still not getting paid, so. I don't know what you're tripping about. Came back, different hair color, looking like a gay Liza Minnelli. I feels you, dog. What's good? What's good? What's good? You okay? You want me to be here next episode? <laughs> <laughs> I said Liza. That good. No? What's wrong with Liza? Why are you laughing? Why you said Liza? Why are you laughing? Because you didn't like that way that I called you mm. Liza Minnelli's. Mm. Liza Minnelli, f- cool. Yeah, yeah, still alive. <laughs> she, she's still alive. I can. Still alive. How was your your Pride Month, Bubbles? You good? I haven't seen you since then. It was right. You chilled. Yeah. Did you see that you? You you're you. I mean, not you personally, but you see that football's gay now. Football being gay. The gay no, it's is. not. The gay is. Why? Just because another man bends over in front of another man and the other man has to put the first man's hands underneath the other man's balls to get another ball? What's yeah. gay about that? If that's gay, imagine the locker room. Shit. Ding, ding, ding a Ass. Yes. Balls. Yes. In any Slongs. locker room, not just football. Paradise. Football gay now. Why'd you have to go ahead and ruin football now? Why is it ruined? Because. Because what? Did you see the commercial? Of no. course not. There's a whole ass commercial and mm-hmm. it says football's for everybody. Football is gay. But it goes like football is fun. Football is American. Football is. It's gay. You know any football, gay football fanatics? Other than you? I ain't fucking oh, I ain't gay. No, 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 no. It's not ruined. It's just a joke. It's just. Uh, I don't care. I'm sure there are some out there. There has always been. No mask if this guy is like probably the best that's ever come out. It's fine. I don't care. It's fine. I care so that I can go to the game. Oh, now you're gonna go to the game with my faggy ass shirt, uh-huh. and nobody can say nothing because like too hey, bad football's gay too. Too bad that your faggy ass shirt is now has to be for the toughest team ever, the Oakland Raiders, because that's what the guy plays for. No, I don't think a, a rainbow be- Raider jersey is gonna be received too well. Well, in Vegas, probably, yeah, because they, they moved. But in Oakland? But you see that from every team, not everybody's going to be like, oh, I'm gay, too. Oh, I'm gay, too. Oh, I'm a trans man. No, now. because they've been coming out, and nothing happened. Nobody cares. Nobody <sighs> gives a shit. We don't really give a shit. We do. You do? How many games are you going to watch now? We need representation. doesn't matter. Do you, though? Yeah. So a gay kid in high school would be like, oh, I'm a mo, but I like football. That's not right. I have to be in the fucking thing glee is, room. The thing is, this is where I mean ruined. If that little kid, gay kid sucks ass mm-hmm. and you come at him and like, hey, he sucks ass, it's discrimination because he's gay. No. no. It's discrimination because he sucks ass. Watch. No. Watch. No. Watch. No. Watch. No. So didn't another player c- came out, too, and they just didn't pick him again or something? There was another one that came out a bye. And he's been posting with his like little Twinkie boyfriend and like fucking on the beach and shit. We don't, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Kudos. I want to see drag queens playing football. That would be fucking thing. But it, it could be its own thing. It doesn't have to be the NFL. Why not? They're going to get fucked up. I would watch. They would get <laughs> fucked up. You will never see them again. They would get <coughs> fucked up. Did you see the guy that, 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 um, is trans racial? Oh yeah, the British guy. Yeah, that is now a Korean girl. Yeah, no. girl? No, I don't know. He just <laughs> looks like a girl. That's racist. Um, <sighs> yeah, but somebody told me about it, but I was like, uh-huh, so doesn't bother me. I'm not doesn't even Asian. Doesn't bother me, but isn't that crazy though? Do whatever. Can you be trans racial? I don't give a shit either way. It's just a interesting like you can't can you be transracial is that a legit thing sure why not if you're not hurting anybody go ahead you're not hurting anybody but you're annoying everybody not me i don't give a fuck 
what if you're like how you doing oh lovely accent you're from london he's like no i'm from korea no the fuck you're not but but no the fuck you're not you're a british man you can't do that why not because fucking no how is he gonna fill out paperwork as as korean at the end of the day korean no bitch he looks like a korean walks like a korean talks like a korean at the end of the day we're all one race the human race for now yeah but we're becoming (laughs) annoying unless you identify as a horse can i or a dog i have the body of a whale can i be a whale you you were you weren't before no i wasn't before a whale oh okay before we get into the actual shit that matters one more question so non-binary right Mm -hmm. they don't identify as male or female is mm-hmm. that correct? Mm-hmm. So there's no him or no her. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. They also would like to get married, I would imagine, right? Some of them, I okay. guess. Okay. When they do, mm-hmm. are they the husband or are they the wife? Well, they say you can kiss your partner, you can kiss your You just say this is my spouse, partner? Your spouse, your... This is my spouse and I'm spouse? What do you mean? What does a non-binary person call themselves when they get married? We are married. But this is my spouse? That's boring. They're not a husband or wife. What are they? This is my partner. This is my, my Life other half. Partner? My special, my boo. My minagia. <laughs> <laughs> my spouse? Is that what they use, spouse? I don't know. You think too much into it. Like, way too much. I think, like, you like f- are frustrated. and Because I try to understand it and I can't. You don't have to. Just go with the flow. But the flow is Relax. getting the flow is getting annoying. You have to understand. In trap with his like sexy twenty three year old body, I'm an old fuck. Okay, I'm old man. I'm I'm literally Clint Eastwood from Gran Torino. Okay, no, because he was racist. I'm not racist. Mm. But the whole like I, like picking your pronouns on the Instagram. Who gives a fuck? Why they? Why? But but why? Because it's hard to explain. Again, if why does you're that not, mean so much to people though? Because it, it makes you feel validated, I guess, in a sense. Okay, and if you feel like that, it just feels it, right to call yourself they. For some people, yeah. Okay, it's like if somebody will always call you, I don't know, whale, and you're not a whale. Well, I eventually wait. I was called poo poo throughout my fucking junior high. Okay, and I bet it wasn't the most thrill thing, but I made the most of it. Yeah, it wouldn't it be better if you didn't have to? But I did. If people respected you? They respected me. They were like, there goes Poo Poo, dog. He's the shit. I mean, they still don't, but like. Right. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, you do you, bro. I, I just try to understand that world. All right, let's, let's move Leave on. Leave Chong Koon alone. <laughs> Ch- Chong Koon? Yeah. Who's that? The guy. <laughs> I think his name is literally London. I think his last name is London, the transracial guy. Didn't he pick? Never mind. Let's keep it moving, bro. Let's talk about people who die. Uh, let's start off after 10 minutes. I'm going to have to cut that intro. <laughs> That's a lot of bullshit. <laughs> T's and P's and R.I.P.'s, Miss Bubbles. Um, I don't think you did the intro right. I did. We did just you? jumped into bullshit already. and It's been 10 minutes. Uh, could you believe <clears throat> it's been a year since we lost... Naya Rivera, bro. No. It's been a year, Holmes. Damn. It's been a year. That's wild. So, tease and peace to her. We also lost Richard Donner. He is the director for blockbusters such as Superman, the movie, The Goonies, and Lethal Weapon. He was 91. So, tease and peace. The Bat Superman movie? No, the, the first Superman movie. With Christopher Reeves, Doug. Tease and peace and R.I.P.s to them. It's crazy the Naya thing, though. A year? That's fucking wild. That's fast. Yeah. I mean, she's always alive in my heart. Of course, you keep her. Aren't you a little butthurt? Well, we can circle back around. Let's keep them moving. Um, It was also released that The Last of Us, the first season of The Last of Us will have 10 episodes. HBO's The Last of Us co-writer and producer Craig Maz- Mazin Mazin confirmed the upcoming TV series will have 10 episodes in its first season with five directors split across them. 10. 
that is a tad too much for me, but it's it might be the perfect spot if it's if it's a good show. Mm-mm. If it's a good show and it's eight, <clears throat> I want more. And if it's an okay show and a thirteen is too much, the perfect spot is zero. We don't want it. We don't need it. Moving on. You hate your bubbles. Even the movie we just watched felt like that for a bit. No. Yeah. You, maybe because of the noise that they're making Straight up. a little bit. You're talking about we we just finished watching uh, a Quiet Place Part Two, which Felix just reviewed for us on the What You Doing. Go check that out. I know what you mean because they do the little clicky sound too. Not even because of that. Just like there's some zombies the that are basically guy that taking thing. care of the little girl. We got Swift Tooth, which is also that, but better. We don't need it. We don't need it. Y'all just trying to cash in on the hype, and you think that all this nerds are gonna go oh yeah and they will we are because you but we are not me you ain't watching fuck no what if it comes out and it says my the ass best what if it's the best shit ever you're still not watching i'm not watching i'm sticking to my guns what if there's an lgbt representation my ass no <laughs> you're so funny i'm yeah. not watching okay okay you're in protest protest and pure protest there's nothing wrong with it it's just in protest you don't want it it's just dumb it's not it's the last we already of got the game which is basically a big fat story already you're just taking the fun part out of it which is being in it playing it but you would sit there and watch 25 pokemon movies but that's different that's an anime but there's like 47 seasons. And it's not going to be the same thing. 32 games. It's not the same story. It's motherfucking Ash who's been 10 years old for 40 years. What do you mean? With new Pokemon. <laughs> These are going to be new zombies. No, they're not. You don't know. I know. You haven't seen. You don't know. Speaking about something that's ever the same what thing. What was the news for that? Oh, that's that is 10 episodes. Whack. Sounded like a lot to me. Uh, Ruined my segue. Uh, Ubisoft confirmed that a new Assassin's Creed game is on the way, codenamed Infinity. It's in early development between its Montreal and Quebec teams. Reports suggest it will include multiple historical settings and evolve over time like Fortnite. That's the part that had me jump off the ship. Um, Ah. It's going to be an evolving online platform. Like Pokemon? They said like Fortnite. Or was that your set wing? Evolves. You know what evolves? If you were to listen to me, it was a fire segue. I didn't even know Fortnite evolved. Well, it's become the video game equivalent of Pops. Do you like anything in video games? It's in Fortnite. You like God God of War? Kratos in Fortnite. You like John Wick? It's in Fortnite. Hey, you like the NBA? It's in Fortnite. It's RuPaul in Fortnite. Pretty soon. <laughs> Coming soon. It's the next. It's next. It's, they just can't get his hair right. They're working on it. <clears throat> Would that make you play Fortnite? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what do you think of this, Bubbles? You're 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 like you're the trilogy behind, right? No. Did you play Egypt? Yeah. Okay. You're only you're only two behind. Yeah. Forgot. Um. This doesn't interest me at all. I don't. This is not what I want for because my Assassin's Creed. Because it involves other people. Because the focus won't be on the storytelling, and 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 if you have multiple historical settings, your focus won't be on the one historical setting. How the fuck are you gonna do detailed historical facts and shit if you're focusing on multiple ones? Isn't there like a game like this already out there? Like what? I think like like this like. Mm, Cause it's gonna be like like Fortnite, right? But just like a bunch of Ezio's running around. They didn't mention anything about the game. They just call the fact that it's it's gonna be a always evolving online platform, much like Fortnite evolved. Mm. But I don't know how much Fortnite actually evolved. It's, just, it's the same core gameplay. They just add more things. Cause there's a game out there. It's kind of like Fortnite, but instead of like future guns, like in the past with people like that and there's i think maybe like a mage maybe in there i don't remember this kind of it, ha- it has that stank of like greedy dark shit are you talking about hood probably i don't know but they didn't do good or i don't remember is it fairly new i think you're talking about hood i don't remember we have to like steal shit and this team like you work in a team yeah and you're yeah it's like a crew of people and shit Hood Outlaws and Legends, maybe? Probably. 
this ring any bells? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Kind of looks like the Lord of the Ring games. Mm, I, I don't know. But I've seen, a, I've seen a bunch of those, but I don't know. I wouldn't play it. I want story, man. I want you to pick a setting and then we get everything from that setting. That's what I want. I don't know. I'm not I'm not excited about this. You know, and I love Assassin's Creed. I'm everything Assassin's Creed. But it seems like they were they might have done the ja- the, 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 the the Japan one with samurais, but then saw Ghost of Tsushima and then they made a pivot to this crap. This is this is not good news for me. I'm 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 sad. Well, they did Valhalla. Yeah. So? (laughs) Do you think this is like the nail in the coffin for the franchise? I don't know. I don't don't, don't quite understand what this is. It's going to be another game with different settings that's going to be evolving on an online platform. They didn't, I guess they didn't learn their lesson with uh, Unity where they try to make it multiplayer and that's by far the worst one. There was no online bullshit in Assassin's Creed 1 and 2. It was straight stick to the story with a compelling character and a, and a very compelling story. And you're traveling through very dope historical settings that are interesting and time travel and story and all this other bullshit. And now you're, uh, this just feels like a way to get cash. I don't like it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Are you gonna are you gonna try to even to catch up? Um They're like yeah. plus sixty hour games each of them. Yeah. I'm starting to crave it. I forgot about them because I have so much stuff. Damn. Forgot about Assassin's Creed. <sighs> I mean can you blame me? Yeah. Those the the two that you're missing are fucking fantastic. You fuck around in Greece and you fuck around in Valhalla, bro. I'll look at to them. You can be a lady. I know. And both of them. I know. Both. Yes. What you waiting for? Cassandra is the best one. Cassandra. Cassandra Foy. Anyway. Uh, speaking of shit, we can't believe time has flown by, Bubbles. Pokemon Go. Celebrating five-year anniversary. The mobile game has reportedly made over $5 billion in revenue. With players spending increasing year over year. I know probably six people who still actively play this shit. I've been seeing people playing. Yeah. Like people that I would never think they would play. I see them like flicking the ball and new shit. I'm like, what the hell? That's crazy. That is crazy. Because you- I would think I would think that it would get boring after a while. I never played it, so I'm not sure Fake how, fan. how repetitive can it get. But to me it looks very repetitive. But I guess it gives you something to do when you're walking around and yeah, shit. Yeah, there's always when they're waiting for a I don't know, for the bus or for the bathroom or something. <laughs> There was also a little trailer celebrating it. And I was like, huh, are they going to shout out the people that this game literally murdered? Or is that stat, you know? What? People died playing this shit. Oh. Walking over cliffs, being trampled and shit. Mm. The trailer showed like stats over these many Pokeballs have been thrown. You've caught over 155 trillion Pokemons. And I want to see like seven deaths. Better know. selection. That's what I want. I guess if you die playing the app. I Pretty sad if, though. Like, what if your your family member died and you're watching that? He was dumb. <laughs> really? Yeah. If I die playing Pokemon Go in a trailer for like, yay, five years of playing Pokemon Go, you know, like the five years and just who died. <laughs> <laughs> you remember? That's crazy. Pokemon Go to the graveyard. <laughs> 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 Settle down, Hillary. I wonder if Ericus is place. Probably. I'm pretty sure Germ does. I wonder if she can name 20 Pokemon. <laughs> She's such a fan. We should take her when we go to... Oh, fuck, wrong one. <laughs> Pokemon Wonder Bubbles, let's go. <sighs> Pokemon Nature Theme Park opening in Japan. This is via Kotaku. The Pokemon Company announced Pokemon Wonder, a 48,000 square foot park filled with hidden Pokemon like an Oddish in the grass, a Metapod hanging from a tree, or an Omanite fossil lightly hidden in the Z dirt. So after we hit up uh, Nintendo Land, we're going to go over to Wonder Park in Tokyo. 
It will open for a limited time from July 17, 2021 to April 3rd, 2022. So we, ha- we have less than a year to go. Bubbles, let's go. That's pretty fucked up. I don't know why they're putting a time limit on that. Because um, it's, I, I think it's just like a normal park. Yeah. It's not like... I saw a little video. Mm. <clears throat> it didn't look that exciting. It looks kind of whack, eh? A little bit. Because they're like trying to... They're like kind of like hiding them. Right. In for like them, a- for you to like to look for them. But I'm sure that I'm so fucking blind that I'll probably miss all of them. <laughs> or your step on them. Yeah. It's just like... It sounds like a gigantic magical thing. And it, yeah. and it looks more like when you're walking like on a trail of, of a zoo or something and you see them there. They're not even that big enough for you to take a picture with them. No, no, no. They're like teeny tiny artifacts or yeah. toys that you would buy. So... Like I would never see this fucking Metapod ever. Kudos for the idea to make people go out i guess breathe air i don't know um it's not something that will be like oh i gotta go to fucking japan right now to go there before it closes no nah, but I'd it's something cool to a bunch of places if before. they're like oh Balboa park is gonna yeah. be pokemon Wonder. i thought i was thinking like if there's one right here i'd be like all right uh, f- fuck yeah i'll do it yeah they need to they need to because apparently it's not that hard to do. No way! You buy toys and hide them, and then print banners and say it's Pokemon shit, and people are gonna go over there like like flies. We can do that? We can't vandalize the fucking park, bro. We're not vandalizing it. I mean, we need permits and shit. You know, it's very touchy feely. You feel me? I feel that will make bank. People like over charging them to walk on the free park. Yes. Oh, that's illegal. No, <laughs> it's a free park. That's what they do. They charge you to go in. You need we need permits and shit. I don't know, but I feel like Japan is more subject to do cool shit like this. Like, you don't give a shit about Rick and Morty. But there was a, a Wendy's Rick and Morty called Morty's in LA. Like, the drive through is mm-hmm. like a gigantic ordeal. It's all Rick and Morty shit. The logo is Morty instead of the Wendy's chick. It was only open for two days, which is whack. <laughs> but uh, we need to be more fun, man. Like do more fun shit so so we can feel better you know <laughs> the world did you see the fucking water is literally on fire yeah i didn't know it was here in mexico it was water on fire water is on fucking fire Wait, can i have a rick and morty drive through can i have a stupid little metapod in the tree but they're gonna steal it in like four seconds Wait, i was watching all the memes and shit and i was like that's funny but I didn't know what's here in Mexico. T-way. I was like, oh, that's embarrassing. A little bit. But I mean, a, a pipe broke and it caught fire. The water caught fire. And you know what they did? They put water on it to put it out. <laughs> Don't make sense. It just doesn't. My brain, no computing. bro. Anyway, we're going to Japan by March next year. No. Pinchy bubbles. It's not even like worth going. Huh? I'd rather go to Nintendo Land. Yeah. Nintendo Land, that's better. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm going to spend all that money and make that long ass trip, so I'm going to be to watch a uh, one inch metapod <laughs> hidden in the crevice of a fucking And then tree. a metapod. You can do something dope. <laughs> like, Pokemon Snap is such a ride. Mm-hmm. Like, it could be a ride. Yeah. A dark ride. Any kind of ride. All the settings I can see in my head. It's so easy. Pokemon, Pokemon Land, Pokemon Land, or Universal Studios. Just get on it, would you? Just like we're going to get on to Trailer Talk Bubbles. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Trailer Talk. Start out, uh, there was a very, very... There was a very, very <laughs> leve, 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 really chill state of play. They showed a couple new games. Only two of them really uh, stood out to me, and they're not even that fantastic. First one is called Arcade Geddon. Um, it's a co-op multiplayer shooter. It's got, I think it's going to be free. Better be. It looks like it. It legitimately looks like Fortnite mixed with Splatoon. That's what I thought when I watched it. That's that. exactly what it looks like to me. That's just what I thought when I saw it. Oh, this Splatoon meets with Fortnite. Do we need it? No. No. Maybe somebody else. Maybe somebody out there who likes both of those games a lot maybe stoked for it. Probably. You could play solo looked, or club. Again, this is a, a game we have. There's a lot of these games around. Yeah. F- 
I don't like them, so I'm kind of, like, annoyed. But maybe there's somebody else who lives for... I think, like, the newer kids, the, the new youth, like, <laughs> l- love these kind of games. Battle Royales? Of, yeah, because that's what they started kind of grew up with. Mm-hmm. And maybe they're not for me, so it doesn't bother me. But it's like, ugh, okay, whatever. Yeah, I mean, if they're free, who gives a shit? I don't think it's free. But it looks, it really looks like a free game. But everybody's trying with the with the battle royales, including this next one. is called Hunter's Arena Legend. It's a battle royale mode. Um, but the the gist of this one is that it's it's a fighting game, but it's a battle royale game. So graphics and the the design of the characters literally look like kind of, kind of so caliberish. Yeah. Uh, the fighting does it doesn't look terrible like i thought it was an action game but again it's a stupid battle royale where you have to do the thing and then npcs walk up on you and you kick their ass and you can encounter other players and fight with them um it looks way better than i think it's going to end up being <clears throat> you can customize your player and it looks fun um what you think you'll be playing hunter's arena legends i would be more likely to play this one yeah this is more your speed. I think I will probably, maybe I could get bored in a hot minute. I don't know, but I will give it a try. It looks fun. There, looks like there's some a variety of styles. The customization always, customization horror. Mm-hmm. So, is that free? I don't think it is. Free what console did you say? No. PlayStation Four and PlayStation Five in August. Mm-hmm. So I don't think it's free. This doesn't look free, but I could see if it was. I'm like, oh, cool. I mean, Arcade Geddon looks it. free. I, I mean, mean, it doesn't look free, but it doesn't mean that it can't be free. <laughs> well, no, everything could be free. Or what do you call what's the What's the thing, Majigi? Yeah. The pass? Pro. Plus. That's what I was going to oh. say. I could see them giving out for PlayStation Plus in like a month or two. But things have, I mean, Fucking Pokemon Go made five billion dollars in five years, and it's a free app. So there's incentive for people to make it free. That's you got them. What's what's the what was it? Genshin Impact, isn't that? Yeah. I forgot how much money that shit's made already. <sighs> it's so overwhelming. It was fun. Make it like I play a few hours. I still want to go back to it, but it's just like there's so much shit out there. You just don't have time for it. Don't can't. have time for that. Can't, can't. Well, if you play it, Bubbles, hopefully we get your review. It li- I mean, it literally, I thought it was like, oh, okay, so Caliber, uh, Battle Royale? That's crazy. You could play as a team. Maybe. Sucks that you need to be three a level. Well, we'll just get a rando. No. Don't matter. Felix. Oh, no, he don't have a PlayStation. Uh, But you know what Felix wants to buy and he's been waiting for? It's a new Nintendo Iron Switch, House. Bubbles. Oh. What? I didn't hear. What? Oh, no, no, it's good. All right. When I'm editing, I'm here and I'll throw the shade button. Um, So there's been rumors and we've been talking about it for a while now. Rumblings of a new Nintendo Switch. Yeah. And earlier this week, it dropped. It is the Nintendo Switch OLED model. <laughs> I can't help what you think, but to hear OLED in my head. <sighs> Why, man? Because this is not. This is this is no. Why not? Because no. Why not? Because we were thinking 4K. Who's we? You? The world. The world. When are you going to step your pussy up, Nintendo? What would you want 4K if most of your games look like shit? It would just amplify how bad they look. Everything that's not Nintendo looks like shit, and the Nintendo shit looks good. So... Other than the new screen, this revised model includes an adjustable stand for tabletop play. Nobody does that. 64 gigities of built-in storage. That's that's doubled from its original 32, which is pretty good. Uh, a new dock, a wired Ethernet port built in, an improved audio for handheld or tabletop play. Nintendo only mentions up to 1080p via HDMI and TV mode. So not even the fucking handheld thing goes up to 1080p. You have to plug it in uh, for, for it to get 1080p through the HDMI via TV mode for the TV dock. So the rumored 4K mode isn't part of the OLED switch confirmed by The Verge. And the price of this fucker is 350 mm. Which is not insane. But 
we no no. It is set to release on October eighth. So, what OLED is bubbles? Mm-hmm. There's no backlight on it. Okay. So it's more technical bullshit. Okay. It's more more is more different little lights than just one giant screen. Mm-hmm. So we have the switch, right? And behind the screen of the switch, the switch, <laughs> the switch is a backlight. Mm-hmm. So this is literally the Nintendo DS Lite version of the switch. Okay. It's 2021 way. Okay, I can stream 4K out of the fucking air to my TV. I wasn't. I don't know why you're so holed up on the 4K. Because it's 2021. Because to begin with, you don't even have a switch. Because I, do, I can't. So it's like, you you can tell me you want to play Mario Party in 4K. If I could, yes. It doesn't make. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. But this is not worthy of a, even an announcement. Way they made a big deal. They've been building this up for. Two I think it's months. a big deal for people who always have it on the go. I can see. Have them. you seen switches in the wild like yes, that? Yes, I have a lot. Wild. Yes, I'm like, what are you doing? Hit me up and I'll go steal that shit. I see a lot of people like Tijuana style. It's not for me. I don't get it. Like, if I had a switch, it would never leave no my way. television. I can't, I can't do this shit, bro. But there's a lot of people that do use it like that that's wild so i get it i mean that's one of the reasons why it's so popular yeah because you can just take it out anywhere i just haven't the the models that are out now are not enticing for me the original one maybe the light you can't undo the the controllers but it's cheaper this one is like oh this is the best one but it's not like i it might make the other one price go slightly lower. It's now Nintendo. That there's a new new one. It's Nintendo. They're gonna be like, get the other one for fifty bucks, cheaper. If if that does, if if if, if the release of this one makes the other one go down to two hundred, okay. Thank you for giving me this one. I'm going to back buy the original. <laughs> he? Like the difference between the original and this is not that crazy because we're plugging it on our TV anyway. If there was a dock only mode, give me that. Yeah. Give me that. If we're not gonna improve on it, let's tweak it then. Give me a dock only mode, and that's what I would buy for two hundred bucks. I'm sure they'll have another new switch within three years or so. That's too long. They're trying to squeeze it, take much out of it as they can. Because the switch is still from last, from the eighth generation of consoles. The switch came out during the PlayStation Four, PlayStation, and Xbox One generation so it's still considered the the eighth generation so it's behind already it's always been behind i don't know but it's like it's like the console and the 3ds combined and the 3ds life was forever so they combine both of them in one thing that could last for fucking ever they just keep Bringing like a new version, lighter, more battery, blah, 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 blah. without the 3D, they took the 3D out of it because they they keep coming up with these gimmicks that at the end of the day, for the core gameplay, it doesn't matter. No, you own the 3DS. Did you ever turn on the 3D? No, no, no. We don't need it. Just make the fucking hardware and the games dope. And Nintendo does it. All the Mario shit is dope. All the Zelda shit is dope. Everything else on the console, why it looks caca. Why? Because it doesn't it doesn't live up to par to the ninth generation or even the eighth generation of console, which is the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Play I guarantee you, there isn't a single game out there that is better on the Switch that that is not on the other for the other ones of consoles. You know what I'm saying? No Switch port is better than anything else of the eighth or ninth generation. It just doesn't happen. It's never going to be that. Ever since the GameCube, everything else came down. GameCube, Xbox, PlayStation 2, they were right there. I would even give the GameCube, you know, extra extra oomph because of the quality of the Nintendo games. Smash, Zeldas, whatever fuck you want, Metroids, whatever you can think of. You can't play it anywhere else. But since then, 
They come with the Wii with the dick controller and sus mamadas. Which was very popular. Yeah, estamos de pendejos <laughs> batting shit, which is not really what you, you know, we're bowling. There's my mom, dad, grandpa, grandma, everybody bowling like a motherfucker. We'll see how I do. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If if it makes the original Switch go price go down, it was worth it. <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, this trailer shook me bubbles because I wasn't expecting it to even like again yeah. who wanted it but mm-hmm. okay we talk about the Adams family those bubbles you didn't watch the first one you said fuck no get the fuck out of here right yeah I checked it out it wasn't terribly mm-hmm. it's it's Adams family with a 2019 coat of paint on it with like popular music drops and other shit that kind of annoys me you know they had the Flo Rida song throughout half of the trailer. Mm-hmm. Cast is pretty cool. This returning cast. Um, oh, that's why they had it. Really? Okay. Oscar Isaac, Charlize Theron, Chloe Grace Moretz, Nick Crow, uh, Javon Wana Walter, Wallace Sean, Bed Midler, Bill Hader, and Snoop Dogg is playing cousin It. That's ni el caso, we. Well, it's kind of like the Groot thing, I guess. This is worse. Okay. I could have played it for way cheaper. I just say anything and the computer does it for me. Anyway. But it would not brought the people to watch the movie. If they say, oh, it as Edward Peraz is. Like, you don't even have Who? to announce it. He's a little ball of hair, bro. <laughs> I guess that since it's new stock, people will be like, all right, let's watch it. It just feels really, what do you call that? Pandery. Yeah. It's the most pandery. Yeah. Like, I enjoyed the first one. Like, it, they're cool. Like, they're, they're cool to look at, and the story is not like revolutionary or anything. Like, I, give me flashbacks of the original shit. And now they're going on a road trip and they're dicking around. You were giggling at, at some of the bullshit we were watching. You passing hardcore on this? It didn't look that bad to me. <clears throat> I would watch it. Yeah. It's 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 very despicable me kind of humor. There's something about road trip movies that get me. I don't know why. That get you to like want to watch it? To watch, yeah. Like RV from Robin yeah. Williams and Jojo. Iconic. What's her name? Who? Jojo. Yes. Last like her full name. Joanna Jojo. Okay. Joanna. Iconic. Queen of Pop. <laughs> no, 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 no. Her, it doesn't say iconic queen of pop on her damn birth certificate. Get it out of my face bubbles. I might check it out. I don't know, man. I think it looks better than the first one to me. Visually or story-wise? Overall. I mean, visual looks exactly the same. October 1st. See, wait, um, that's what you're getting for your birthday, Bubbles. All right. Hope you's excited. Uh, this next one, I found out it to be an interesting premise, and it could be very serious, but the way that it's shown to us doesn't seem serious at all. It's Queen Pins. Remember Queen Pins, Bubbles? Yeah. It's a pair of housewives who create a forty million dollar coupon scam. is based on a true story, starring Kristen Bell, Kirby Howell, Baptiste, Vince, and Vince Vaughn. So these two ladies creating forty million dollars worth of fraud through couponies. A true story. The way that it it it, it had like um, it was funny way. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to put it in a box. I'm shook that we don't have no Netflix shit this week. Yeah. True. Because all of these movies could be on Netflix in my this mind. This definitely could be on Netflix 100%. But it's not. It's coming to the theater. This chick. This chick. Which Christian. One? Mm-hmm. Is she oh. Anna? Christian. Yeah, Anna. Varula, whatever. Christian Bell. Yeah. What about her? She's like the person they go to. Oh, we need a white mom. You who, think? Yeah. Oh, who should we cast? This bitch. A white mom that can spice it up? Just a white mom. They're like, oh, yeah. That's her. And, yeah. That's but her. she's cool. She's she dope. You don't like her? Is it right? I don't have, a, I don't have beef with her. You don't have beef with her? Yet. Yet. Uh, you have beef with the BB Rexha? She's also in this looking fine. Mm. Did you see that she was like 
talking shit also on the on the grams no i don't follow her i mean it was like make kind of news what it was like oh this is what 168 pounds looks like and like 168 pounds is beautiful and it's like what yeah she's talking about her weight is that a lot the number sounds like a lot because she's not that tall but she's fucking fine i don't it doesn't i don't care how like aren't you like three of hers like why is she bragging why don't you brag two on the gram <laughs> this is how three people rex it look like son excuse me no three of hers no three yeah no you said she's short length wise probably if yeah. she, but not weight wise i'm not over 400 pounds you fuck could have fooled me i was <laughs> I was two BB Rexes. So people attacked her for saying that. They attacked her just, yeah. You're fashioning me now. Yeah, How yeah, dare you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like 160 something is beautiful. She should have known better. She should have known better. Like, bitch, you know you're beautiful. Like, come on. <sighs> but Lizzo also kind of fucked it up a little bit. What's she saying? Just uh, life. She's been like, ah, this is the fucking beautifulest. For you, when I was a fat fucking slob. Nobody told you we were beautiful. <laughs> nobody told me I was beautiful. I did. No. You are beautiful. But I'm not walking like around like, look at my shit. Nobody wants Maybe to see you that. you should. No. Why not? Because I know it's not beautiful for me. <gasps> That's sad. For me, I don't like that. That's sad. Is it? Yeah. You are beautiful. It's called depression and hating yourself. Oh, you have okay? to work on that. Do I? B- By B- posting it on the gram, being like, "BB, yeah, got it all figured out." Look at my t- no, There's nothing wrong with BB. There's nothing wrong with Lizzo either. There's nothing wrong with you. For me, it is. That's sad. For me, it was. Anyway, BB Rex are fine. Quit acting like. Quit acting a fool, would you? Look at that. Jesus Christ. She fine. She fine. I'm like, who cares? Who cares? The movie looks fun. Hashtag free Britney. But did we give a shit how much Britney weighed? No. No. Did they brought it up? I'm saying when we were growing up. Oh, no. I mean, she was fucking hot. What are you going to say? She was also a, 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 a little girl. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to start about Britney before you start to cry. Um, movie looks pretty like the movie looks fun. It did surprise me. I thought it was gonna be a shit show, but it, it's it's Kristen Bell, Vince Vaughn shenanigans. Joe McHale is also in there just to give you a little taste as to the the tone of the movie. It's funny there was jokes in there. It mystic, uh, you know, body double, mi compa, Paul Walker Hauser. He funny too. He cool. Uh, he been in Itania. Black Landsman, Richard Jewell, he was he was horse in Cruella. Mm. He coo, he coo, he coo, he coo. This one, this one shook me. We can watch it on Netflix when it's on there in three months. The poster is nineties in a motherfucker way. Yeah. But it's cool. I'm down. You down? Yeah. A designist. This next one I'm very in, in, interested by. It's not Netflix, but it is Amazon Prime, and it's an Amazon original documentary entitled Val. It is a documentary centering on the daily life of actor Val Kilmer, featuring never before seen footage spanning 40 years. Basically, a 40 year old uh, vlog by Val Kilmer. Damn. You said? Um, I didn't realize how fucked up he was. Like right now with the throat cancer and shit. I, I can't think even I just speak. never thought to myself like, well, whatever happened to him? Right. Well, he's just disappeared and yeah. stopped being in movies. He just like flew, vanished. He was the finest way. No? Mm-hmm. You don't like you don't like Valkymers? Mm-hmm. No. What? Come on, man. Top Gun? I don't recall. I don't remember if you were in Top Gun. What the fuck? Isn't Tom Cruise from Top Gun? Tambien way. Well, he's the star. He's an Iceman, bro. What? He's Iceman from oh, Top Gun. Movie. Oh, I found the X-Men. No, but <laughs> <laughs> I think he's Batman. 
he was a Batman, and we don't talk about Batman like that. Why not? That was one of my Batmans. Yeah, he was Jim Morrison, anyway. Yeah, that's Stop a good talking one. About Batman. He kind of looks like him too. Up uh, like un putero, boy. like a lot. Good casting. Um, he was also in this in the the, the, the fucking Point Break. He did good movies. Fuck yeah, he did good well, movies. Popular movies. Fucking Tombstone, bro. No. Best westerns. Top no. top five westerns. No. What do you mean no? No. Tombstone, motherfucker. Him and true romance. Fuck out my face. And the guy from the Mummy, they gave me like the same vibe. Like they're, Brandon Fraser. Yeah, you're way off on that. Like they're cousins nah. or best friends. Nah. And both of them are husbands now. Nah. Nah. Val Kilmer's a way bigger deal than Brandon Fraser. I'm sorry. No. I think they're about the same. No. The Mummy. The Batman. Mummy too? Batman. One of the Batmans. And you just say we don't talk about it. Motherfucking Tombstone? Does he have a ride on Universal Studios? I don't think so. He's got a fucking rides in Six Flags. Is a Batman. He's not on his movie. You're wilding for that. Val Kilmer over Brendan Fraser 100%. The 100ist. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to put up Batman versus George in the jungle, you stupid bitch? Ah, oh, George the fucking jungle. Damn, it was Top Gun. Boing, Top Gun movie. was his fourth movie. He was away. fucking ripped. Have you seen him now? Who? Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I tell you, like, they gave me the same vibe. Like, they're all, they're, they're dead now. They're like, they're not dead. They're not dead. <laughs> Close. They're not dead. They're like, that's, fa- that's disheveled. They're like, they're melted. old. It's called being old. That's sad. Yes. <laughs> it's going to happen to you, too. Yes. The, the, the fucking necklace that the Melisandre lady was wearing in Game of Thrones isn't real. You can't just buy that and wear a necklace and take it off and die. Okay. But we got surgery. You going to get surgery? Yeah. To look like BB Rexa? No. <laughs> You're gonna say fuck yeah. <laughs> Had you? Had you? He was in fucking Willow, bro. Who? Val fucking Kilmer. Oh yeah. Oh uh-huh, yeah. Will yeah. Willow se la pela cuatro veces al George of the Jungle, bro. And I, I might do this next week with Felix, but I'm pretty sure Val Kilmer is in Hall of Fame of Actors, and Brendan Fraser isn't. Yet. He's in fucking Heat too, wait. Wait, get fuck out of my face. Nah, nah, no, 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 no. Val Kilmer was like the actor of the 90s, one of them. Are you watching this? Yeah. Yeah, huh? Yeah. He's cool. I always thought he was kind of a dick because he kind of plays like the the, the, the sexy bad guy. Uh, but no, he seems like an awesome dude. He was kind of hot in Willow. Kind of? He's the hottest of the world of the 90s. Look at his face. He was Batman, bro. He was a Batman. He was your Batman. Yeah. Who was that enemy in that Batman movie? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? No, that's the George Clooney one. The Joker? No. No, 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 no. It's Batman Forever. Forever? Isn't it? Oh, he no. fucking plays Wyatt Earp, bro. Get out of my face. I was just reading it. It was fucking, uh, I get those nasty. The Riddler? Yeah. I get those nasty, nasty Batmans confused. The Riddler and Two Face. Simon, it is Batman Forever. Yes, Batman Forever. We need to watch this one again. Uh, this was the one yeah. before George Clooney, I think. Yeah, I get them all confused. <sighs> Who's that, Robin? It's the same Robin. Is it? Yeah. So they just changed. They just changed Batman to George Clooney and gave him wild. nipples. Yes, yes, yes. Why didn't they even keep him? I don't know. I forgot what else he was doing. I do believe this came out first. I remember in the DVD we this were watching. This one's called Batman Forever? Yeah. Then what's the next one called? Batman. Batman. Returns? No. Is it? No, that's the good one. Batman Returns is the good one. Um, I get them confused too, cause they're like so caca. It's like okay, whatever. <laughs> you smelt at them one one movie. See why? George Clunes. 
I know George Clooney was a Batman. This Batman, this, the, the, the Forever was in 95. Le Otro was in Batman with Batman and Robin. Hmm. That's why it's so forgettable because the name is so whatever. Batman and Robin is the one you like. Mm. And Batgirl. Doesn't say in Batgirl. That's it's bullshit. Just, I mean, that's fucking bullshit. That was the lack of representation back in the I think late I just 90s. rewatched that one. I'm not sure. We watched it together. Oh, yeah. It was Kaka. <laughs> Pretty dope. <laughs> no. It's Arnold. They're rotorblading on ice. It's Arnold fucking. He was. Okay. That's how. Look at all these dope actors. Uma Thurman. Alicia Silverstone. Chris O'Donnell. George fucking Clooney. The best actor in the movie? Arnold. Chill. I got it. That's how bad the movie is. Arnold knew what movie was being made. Nobody else watching, knew. I was watching a news about Arnold. I forgot what it was. He fucked his mate again? <laughs> what? I don't know. No. That was... <laughs> What do you mean, no? <laughs> like the maid from the family oh. guy. No. I think that was about his son. Something about his son. That he's fine as fuck? The younger one? Something? I forgot the, what it was. Uh, the one from the maid? Yeah. He's bufferoni. It looks like him. But it's a equal of Arnold. It's wild. You can't deny it. It's fucking wild. Mari don't even have to be like, you are the father. The, that guy wakes up. He's all, ugh, 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 ugh. Morning. <laughs> He came out of the wound thing. <laughs> Moving on. Val Kilmer, MVP. Moving on. Bubbles, you didn't know about this and you, you decided. I told you we we're going to come back around now. You're so we eventually we'll talk about it. Trailer. <laughs> four. You were telling you were tell me about the Derbez 2 thing. What Derbez? Scroll up. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't even see that ad. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> American Horror Stories, Bubbles. Oh, Tom. It's a spin-off series of American Horror Story where it's an uh, it's an anthology where each episode is a different story, Bubbles. I think that's pretty smart. It's about time. Because it was getting kind of heavy. Yeah. And dreaded to have one season about the same thing and, and political. start over again. It got political and weird. <clears throat> So I think it's cool that now each story is going to be something different. I mean, each episode is going to be something different. Mm -hmm. Or that's what it kind of gave me the vibes. Yeah, of. yeah. Each episode is going to be different. And it looks like it's going to take a little bit of out of the other seasons. Like we saw the house and. Well, it's a spinoff from the, the same. Witches <clears throat> and shit. So about time. How much did we did we went two years without a season? Yeah. It's wild. Yeah, it's wild probably we, necessary because now you're excited for it, like really excited for it. It's wild that we get in this before the, the next season of The Mermaids, which we've been hearing more about in the cast came out. And we've talked about it plenty about that. Uh, we'll talk about That's it again. Not it. Huh? That's not it. What do you mean? Like the mermaid thing? You didn't understand what I'm saying at all. No. This is a whole different thing. So the mermaid's one thing and this is another yes, thing? Yes, ma'am. Is it not? It's not. Uh, this is American Horror Stories. It's a whole different thing. It's a spinoff from American Horror Story. Mm. Each episode is a different story. Mm. It's a spinoff. It's a whole different thing. This is not season t uh, 10 or whatever it is, 11. Mm. It's a otro pedo, homie. How do you feel about it now <laughs> that you know what it is, <laughs> you dumb bitch? I'm still fine. I like it. Kind of gives me the vibe of that show we were watching, the 64, the hotel room. Mm, thing, room 13, whatever. Each episode is a different story. Yeah. Within the hotel, but I'm down. Lately, uh, Ryan Murphy has been delivering some poops. The poopiest. But this looks it's back to right. back to Back to what he knows. Back to what he knows. Uh, the cast, I don't know, Ashley Martin Carter, do not know her, uh, Gavin Creel, don't know, don't know, Paris Jackson, who she's also going to be in the American Horror Story, uh, Double Feature, I think is the name of the horror story, mm -hmm. Paris Jackson, of course, being Michael Jackson's daughter, Madison Bailey, um, 
Don't recognize her. A bunch of young people in the show, Bubbles. Good. A Billy Lord. <sighs> we love Billy Lord here. Princess Leia's daughter, son. You don't like? No. Danny Trejo. He was Santa Claus. <laughs> Kevin McHale is the one I'm looking for, a.k.a. Artie from Glee, which was I was going to wrap around. Why didn't Ryan Murphy ever put Naya Rivera in any of the American Horror Story stuff, Bubbles? <sighs> don't want to typecast her as the hot chick who's going to die? I don't know. Maybe he didn't quite like how they behaved on set. Who? Naya. And, well, he did cast Rachel for he, something He else. casted the fuck out of, what's her name, before she got canceled? <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's a good question for him. When we go to Comic-Con next year, you can ask him. Why'd you kill Naya Rivera? <laughs> yes. Damn. Nah, that's fucked up. Um, I don't know. Like, why is she like an extra in Scream Queens? Maybe she was busy having babies? Me? I don't know. I miss Naya, dog. I was fucked up. But you can catch her on the long Halloween as Cat Woman, voicing Selena Kyle. So that's pretty cool. Sad, but cool. Um, I fucked up the order on all this. So we're watching American Horror Stories. Now that you know what it is, it's going to be 17 episodes, Bubbles. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's keep it pushing. We've got a couple more. This next one is a teaser trailer for Disney's Encanto. It's about a young Colombian girl has to face the frustration of being the only member of her family without magical powers. It's a very short <clears throat> trailer. Looks colorful, looks beautiful, looks Disney. Um, the only thing is, um, kind of sick of Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> Yo, Hollywood, you don't have to do every soundtrack, you know? Because you know what's happening? It's all sounding the same. It's all sounding exactly the same. He repeats one word for the whole song. Was he involved in Coco? Nah. He's probably the best music since since Toy Story. That's Pixar. That's another thing. But suck it. Who cares? Same thing. Disney, you own everything. Good for him. Get his coin. But it sounds exactly the same. Yeah. Not a fan. Uh, I'm starting to get very annoyed with him. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, chill. Chill, 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 chill. And the music is not bad. It just it sounds exactly the same. We just watched, we just saw two weeks ago, two and a half hours of the same music in in the Heights. I guess it's like kind of good for him. Like it's kind of like his brand, like his thing that's very recognizable. Maybe there's some people out there who are pretty stoked about it and really do like what he does. I'm sure that he's got fans. I'm sure we're the haters. But it's like, no. I'm just no. getting. I'm just getting tired. No, I'm getting a little tired. Is he even Colombian? I don't know. Is he for Puerto Rico? I thought he was Puerto Rican. Doesn't no. matter. I thought I didn't even get Colombian from the trailer. But th- that's, I thought it was Spain. That's what. No. <laughs> that's what they they said something about Colombia. Did they? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Uh. I would have thought maybe Shakira would be a better option for the song. Or la, something. La, 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 la. something. They won't understand what they're saying. Mm, the movie. I'm not wet for it. Is it because of him? No. It just. I don't know. It's a weird. Um, the main character. It's kind of like. Are you una señora? Are you? I can't tell lady? if she's thirty, twenty, or ten. I'm saying it's crap, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I don't I'm certainly s- not paying for it. Oh, no. I wonder if it's going to be free. I wouldn't be able to say, man. But the whole powers thing looks interesting. The one lady creates uh, flowers. The other lady is very strong. The one little girl's writing animals. I guess I can't see kids going to want 
yeah. going to want to watch the movie. Because it's like colorful and shit. Now, I'm going to say this and you're going to say the exact same thing that I don't want you to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. I don't want to sound like a bigot, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, that lady was dancing with donkeys. I don't know if that's racist or not, but whatever. <laughs> um, does every movie have to have something about somebody's culture? What do you mean? Coco, Mexicans. <laughs> Luca, Italiana. Silenzi, Bruno. Silenzi, Bruno. Iconic, queer film of all time. Allegedly. Nemo. Straya. Oi, mate. Close. Shrimp at the bar, babe. Pretty close. Raya. China. Don't do that accent. I don't want to get canceled. Is it China? Isn't it? Asian. It's Asian. It's Asian. <laughs> Is it not? I don't want to hear phrases. <laughs> it's a dragon. I don't know. I it's don't a know. whole Asian I cast. I don't know if it's China. Specific Asia, like pues. you said Asia, America, <laughs> Asia, racist Simon, Colombia. Like, what happened to cars? I mean, cars is redneck, I guess. Can't does it have to have like culture? Yes, level? does it? Yes, all of it. It's good. All of it has to have culture. What culture is fucking Snow White? I'm sure Colombians will be happy the same way I was happy when I watched Coco. What? You don't even do any of the shit that they do in Coco. You but don't I've, give a fuck about Dia de los Muertos, bro. But I've done it. The only candles you lit is for happy birthday. But I grew up with that, so I know what the fuck. Okay. I don't know what screams Colombian for this because I'm not Colombian. Oh, I forgot. So, black people. Which is <laughs> fucked up because it's about a black guy and they killed him. Disney. Just make it about spoons. Fuck, Forky. Ya está. They did everything already. I'm sure there's still more countries they can do. But do there have to be a country? Is my point. I don't want a culture anymore. I'm old. What else do you want? Do you want another white movie? No, just no color. Africa, también. Pinchy Lion King. Arabia. Are, are they just going by countries? Aladdin. Sure not. French. Ratatouille. I think Cinderella is French, too. Nah. I'm not sure. Oh, no, she's like Holland? Dutch. Brave. Irish? Irish. Every single movie has, uh, I mean, también, está bien, but are, are, are we eventually going to run out? And then what? They're just going to remake them? <laughs> sure. Live action remake? Sure, why not? There's another princess. I'm not sure if she's Mexican or Colombian or what is she, but I thought it was going to be like within that world. I think she might be Mexican. I forgot. A Mexican princess? Yes. She's Disney? Not, she's not good enough to have a movie, but she has like a Disney show. Oh, yeah, because it's Disney and they woke and everybody have to be a princess. I but think why I is she not? A, why doesn't she have? What's her fucking name, dog? I don't know who Something the. Something with an E. Esmeralda. Princess. Nope. That's, that's Hunchback. Fuck, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Mexican princess. Mexican Disney princess? Yeah. But you see what I'm saying? It, every, every single movie is about culture. It's fine. Elena. Okay. Yeah, I think she's Mexican. Is it fine though? Latina princess. Because I feel like we're 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 going away from the movie movie and it's more like this is my culture, eat it. Right? That pisses me off that they just gave her a show but they didn't give her a full on movie. It's like why? Of Esmeralda? Elena. <laughs> well, you didn't even know her name, so you're obviously not that pissed but off. But I've seen it in the Disney store, I'm like, oh. And I was pissed because I'm like, who is she? Maybe she's in here. No, because She's well, not from Colombia? Well, maybe. Who well, says Latina? You said Mexican. You're Latina. racist. It's Colombia. Latina. I don't know. I just... Can, can we... I mean, it's just, does every movie have to have culture? Yes, I'm in a culture twine. Sue me. It's just every single movie is about <sighs> Italians. Fucking esta madre. Wasn't Mulan China? También, wey. She is China. Soraya can be China. Why the fuck not? There's white people, a bunch of shit. That's why I like Toy Story. It's toys. Who cares? It's not Disney. It's Pixar. It's whatever. Moana. It's not Hawaiian. It's Pacific Islander. Frozen. Holland. Good movies. 
I just lo- that's Pixar. I just like it better when it was feces. What do you, what what do you want to see? Something I've never seen before. You've never seen nothing from Colombia, apparently. I've seen Colombians way. Where? Don't worry about it. Okay. Moving on. Don't worry about Case it. Case closed. Let's just say there is a specific category for them in a specific website that I like, that I fancy. Okay. I got my full of Colombians. Is that for kids? No. <laughs> oh. So Definitely no kids in that website. So is it fair to make something for kids with Colombian heritage that maybe they can learn from other cultures? Sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. But can I have other shit? You can still have your site, yes. <laughs> My site? Yes. Can it be on Disney Plus for, for easier access for me? I don't think so. I'm it's just, it just, it just blatant, pues, you know? Like, the, the culture now this time is this. That's what it feels like more than, look at this cool adventure, you know? It's good. It's not a bad thing. You're so not woke. No, I'm still sleeping, bro. Wake up. <sighs> I don't want to wake up. Wake up. Grab a brush and put a little makeup. What was um Christopher Robin? Where is he from? What? London? Yes. British. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not talking about the ethnicity of the characters. The characters could be any color you want. Do we have oh Mary Poppins is British? We have everything. That's good. I mean it's a small world. Now make some aliens and shit. They have. Wally? Yeah. That's white people. White fat fucks. America. Accuracy. I guess. My point is, it just deviates from the point of the movie. I'm not looking at all cool magic people. I'm look, I'm looking at all cool Colombia. You know? And I wish it was more like all cool magic people. You didn't even know it was Colombia. No, I thought it was Spain. Hence, why we need this movie. Okay. The next one's going to be Spain. There's no Spain? Nothing? I don't think so. I Brazil. Don't. I'd much rather have Brazil. There's Rio, but that's not Disney. Was it Disney? No, I think, I think it was DreamWorks. DreamWorks, which Disney owns. There's no... Okay, which is one that you ever surely give a shit about? Big Hero 6 was kind of Japan. Wasn't he Japanese? It was in San Francisco, but their culture is Japan... Or weren't they Asian? San Francisco. Potato. Patarokyo. I would like a dope, dope, dope Tokyo, Japan one, but I don't want that to be the, the center of the movie. Kind of has to. Does it? Yeah. God damn it. Whatever. Whatever it is, it's Disney I'm watching. I'm just spitballing. I'm just talking out of my ass. You're just hating. I'm hating because it's fun to hate. I'm going to end up watching it and loving it probably and hating the music. It's your nature. The thing is why I don't want the Spanish one because it's going to be Lin Miranda the Ming. Nah, he's not from Spain. He's not from Colombia. Where is he from? The Peru. depths of hell. <laughs> the depths of hell. I don't know. I don't think we can handle a Disney Spain. You, well, maybe if it's in English, I guess. Who can't handle? Me. We got Wilmer Valderrama, a.k.a. Fez, in this movie. We got Where? Diane Guerrero. Mija, how you doing? La little, la little shorty from... Uh, from from Doom Patrol and Orange is the New Black. Diane Guerrero. No, Sofia Vergara? Uh, no. Stephanie Beatriz Ooh, is the voice the of Maribel. It won't load her picture, so I don't know what she looked like. Oh, it's it's the it's the girl from Brooklyn Nine Nine that I was talking about a week or so ago. Plays uh Rosa Diaz. Cool. Guess it is. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the racist now, Bubs? I'm crying. Hungry. Um. Well, well, we watch it, right? We watch it. Maybe. Final trailer that we're definitely watching, and I'm super stoked, and it's also coming from Disney Bobbles. We finally got a legit trailer for Disney's, no cierto, for Marvel Studios. What if? Exploring pivotal moments from the Marvel Cinematic Universe and turning them on their head, leading the audience into uncharted territory. This is going to be the show where the answer one question that changes everything the trailer shows fucking iron man being saved by killmonger so they're just gonna go full out crazy shit with scanner darkly like animation looks fantastic looks great it's just gonna be wild we got fucking black panther chilling as a as a guardian in one second i go 
What other shit? Oh, we got, we got, we got, we got La Peggy's being British Captain America, Captain British. Uh, 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 the, the Doctor Doctor Strange being crazy fuck. This is going to be the last we hear from Chadwick Boseman reprising his role. It was him as Wakanda. Yes, I thought it was Wakanda's somebody impersonating King. him. No, that, that was, was so bad. It was him. That was so bad. It's not bad. It was him. Oh, don't disrespect my fucking king. That was bad. It was not. That was. I was. I thought it was somebody else making his voice. It was him. It sounds so weird. He was dying. Fuck's sake. Give him a pass. Does that change your voice? Yeah. From dying? He wasn't dead. Was he see? dead when he recorded it? That would make sense. Did you not see Val Kilmer? He had throat cancer. He was fucked up too. Did he die? Got throat cancer too? I forgot what he had. But it, he he gone way too soon. I kind of was like the guy from Frozen. Kristoff? Yeah. No, it's Chris maybe, maybe that's Kristoff in the Marvel Universe. Uh, everybody seems to be reprising their role in this. It looks fucking fantastic. I love that it's so out of the box. It it, it kind of feels like comics in the sense that what comics do is that they just they just fuck around, right? It doesn't matter. What if fucking Iron Man fights Wolverine? Who gives a fuck? Let's just fuck around. And that's what this show feels and looks like. I'm 100% Dazown, the Dazown is Bubbles. I'm excited. Everybody coming back for this. Jeffrey Wright, Haley Outwell, Josh Brolin, uh, Michael Douglas, Karen Gillan, Jeff Goldblum, Frank Grillo, Sean Gunn, Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, uh, Digimon, Huso. <laughs> it's not Digimon. It's G- I can't say Digimon without looking at it. Samuel Jackson, Toby Jones, Michael B. Jordan, Bubbles, Natalie fucking Portman, Jeremy Renner, Michael Rooker, Paul Rudd, Mark Ruffalo, Sebastian Stan, Stanley Tucci, Take Away TT, and my lord. Chadwick Boseman, amongst many, 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 many others. Bubbles, I'm so excited for these going to be 10 episodes. I'm going to eat that shit all in one. This is probably the best thing that's been on Disney Plus since it came out. I'm excited, Bubbles. What do you feel? What do you think? Talk to me. All you said is what I'm thinking. Ah, uh, mira. Que so. It looks sick. I've been waiting for it. Kind of starting to forget about it because it's been a while. I feel like Spidey también. I feel like watching it's gonna go like like that. Like, oh, it's over. Yeah. Like, emo, I got like hurting for for the squirting for more squirting. It looks fun. It looks so fun, and I can see them doing a lot of seasons about this. Yes. It's probably gonna be one of the most popular shows in Disney Plus. I hope so. The first episode airs August eleventh. That's what I wanted to see if there's gonna be it's gonna be episodic once a week. Uh, I also wonder if they're going to keep everything in that crazy world. Like, is there going to be um, continuation? And are those episodes going to be canonic with one another? Like episode one and two have something to do with this one or no, you know, or is just one episode or is it, or is it an anthology? That's the only thing I don't, I wonder first episode is going to be what would have happened if Peggy Carter and not Steve Rogers took the super soldier serum at the start of world war two. So hopefully they just answer that question and they move on to the second one. What? I don't know. It's going to be the greatest shit ever bubbles. Yeah. I'm stoked. I'm wet. The wettest. It looks great too. Yeah. Shook tomorrow bubbles, August 11th. All right, bubbles. Up on that shit. Up on that shit. So before we go, let's talk a little bit more about Disney. So where is it? Yeah. Where the fuck did it go? Uh, since it came out, whenever the fuck that was, they've been talking about the fact that Cruella is getting its sequel, bubbles. Okay. What did you did you say? What you thought about Cruella? I don't know. <laughs> what you thought about Cruella Bubbles it's been a while I liked it I liked it it was fun it was cool I liked it yes Um, I don't think a second part's necessary but oh I think yeah we saw it coming because they showed the parent, the the guys I don't know if the second one's necessarily Cruella 2 or if it's actually 101, 101 Dalmatians I hope not either way you're gonna watch Bubbles if it's 101 Dalmatians I'm not watching no no damn you racist towards dogs bubbles yeah you're you're trans 
species phobic? No? I'm against stupid shit. Yet you hang out with me. Uh, so what I'm getting at is also they they kind of announced all of their f- 15 Disney live action movies releasing after Cruella Miss Bubbles. Starting with Lil Mermaid Bubbles. Number one. You can breathe. Even though it's As not, it should be. It's not what you wanted. As it should be. But whatever. What are your hopes for this movie, Bubbles? You are a diehard Little Mermaid fan. You bleed whatever Ariel bleeds. You wish you were air you wish you were her fucking sucking that Eric dick. What do you feel about it, Bubbles? At this point, I'm just excited. That it's that it's happening? Yeah. <clears throat> no I've been seeing a few pictures here and there. Okay. Of like people on the set mm-hmm. taking illegal pictures. <laughs> Um, looks pretty whack because of the quality of the pictures and what I'm seeing that it's not in, as I have a look in the movie, yeah. the cartoon movie, which I guess you shouldn't because it's not reality. No. I think they're sticking to that time in place. Um, I forgot what's the word for that era. Victorian? No. That's London. But I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm I'm down with Miss Haley Bailey. Haley Bailey. Not this don't take this racist at all. It's just because this is what they've been doing to well, Disney doesn't do it a lot. But just like with the Adams family, where they make it hip hop and they make it hip. Uh-huh. Would you be pissed if the songs <laughs> got like extra bass and the fucking hip hop version of No. Look Probably at this no. stuff. I think it'd be because dope. she can sing. So we don't yeah. need all that extra bullshit. I don't think they would do that. They better Well, they not. did it with Aladdin. They did it with Aladdin. That's fucked up. They did it with Aladdin. But, but I liked it, though. Because Will Smith. I like the song. If anybody can rap Disney, is Will Smith because he don't curse. That was dope. I don't remember. When he dropped the bass. Will Smith and doesn't cuss in his rap records. Huh? But I do. So fuck him. And fuck you, too. You think I give a damn about a Grammy? Eminem, sorry. <laughs> Uh, you know who doesn't rap Disney? <laughs> Eminem. He doesn't rap at all anymore. He raps all the time. Where? His house. Uh, I'm down. About time. I hope it comes before um, another virus hits hit us. I hope it comes We wouldn't before, have had it by now, right? Before the world ends. Did it fuck up the scheduling that hard? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it did. Well, whatever. Like probably a, a year. Let's move it on, Bubbles. Peter Pan and Wendy. We've also talked about this. We don't need it. I would watch it. But we would watch it. We like Peter Pan. I'd rather watch that before the Dalmatians or whatever the fuck that is that's coming. Well, everything is woke now, right? So would you be pissed? You obviously wouldn't, but... If Peter Pan was a woman? Well, I was I was thinking gay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it still has to be Wendy. Huh? What? Why... why what why what would make him gay? I don't understand. I don't know. Their kid. It's because after th- after this I saw the Peter Pan play where that lady plays Peter Pan. So I was watching it knowing that it's a but I'm like five years old, watching it knowing that it's a lady. Mm-hmm. And then she's all like uh, like I was like, What? You don't want like what am I trying to say? Like a sexuality draft? We should have that. What? Sexuality draft? We lay out all the Disney characters and it's a draft. Who do you want for your team? Which is Team Mo. Mm-hmm. And then we want the team, what do you want to call me? Whites? Ignorant? No, what's the one you say? What? Not woke. No, what's the one you say? Bigot. Producers? Or what do you say? Breeders. Breeders. Team Breeders versus Team Mo. Okay. And we get to draft all the Disney characters. I mean, there's plenty of them who are queer already like from that movie Captain Garfield I'm pretty sure he's Hook Hook what did I say you said Garfield that's his name no isn't it that's in Spanish oh Mexican as fuck I grew up that's what I grew up with I'm pretty sure he's queer with Smee Smee's gay you see Smee's gay (laughs) Smee is gay that's fine Smee Smee's dope you can have Smee I don't want him. <laughs> 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 they give us all the whack ones. P. 
Peter Pan dope. Peter Pan fly. But Tinkerbell got to be a, a, a lesbian. Tinkerbell's trans. Tinkerbell's trans? Tinkerbell's a fairy. Tinkerbell's a fairy. That's fine. I mean, since we're changing everything, fuck it, right? Isn't that movie canceled because of the Indians? Native Americans, they just cut that part out. Uh, the no, Book? I just rewatched it on Disney Plus and they were on it. But they give oh, you a warning. The, had the, the they give you a warning like, yo, we not woke on this one because it was from the fucking 1940s. <laughs> but we're still going to make money. But we're, we're still taking money. Uh, moving along with live action Disney movies. Jungle Book sequel. I feel like this has been uh, for a while. Like We haven't heard anything much about it, but I remember this was announced. The first one was really, really good. It came out in 2006. Directed by the Mandalorians. Uh, John Favreau and Iron Man, and he's the greatest. Um, voice acting might include Bill Murray, Ben Kingsley, Idris Elba, Nuita Nongo, Scarlett Johansson, Giancarlo Esposito, and Christopher Walken. No confirmation uh, has been made of the cast of the upcoming one. Those were the ones from the original. What you thought about the Jungle Book? I thought it was really, really good. It's really good. It's really, it's a really good. good movie. It's I really don't know good. if I want another one. Because the uh, uh, second one, I don't even remember shit about the second one, the cartoon one. Oh, no, that was bullshit. It was not good. It was bullshit. So I don't think I want another one. I'm good. Blue gay, Bagheera gay. Bagheera? Bagheera's the painter. No, it's not gay. Yeah. No. The who, snake is who, gay. Okay. He's shady. Who do you want? Who, do, who else do you want? You get to pick three characters from each movie <laughs> to turn, <laughs> to make them whatever you want. Mowgli. No, because he falls in love with the lady. What lady? At, at the end of the first movie. They're kids. They don't know what love is. He's attracted to him. Oh, so the fucking guy from fucking Luca can be attracted to the other one because I agree kids. with you with that. No, 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 no. Yell at Pixar for that one. I say Luca I gay. I, I say will. Luca's the gayest. It is. But it's they say no. Face. They it's say blue. no. But no. But no. But no. But no. But you can't have Luca apparently. I want Blue. <sighs> I like Blue. He's a bear. I'm a bear. A gay He's bear. He's my partner. <laughs> Baluma partner. Look, Lion- nobody's writing him. True. <laughs> Lion King prequel. I don't want nobody from the damn fucking movie. Well, Tim I don't Pumbaa want the already. movie, and I loved it. A prequel? It's a prequel, bro. Oh god, it's a prequel. That one wasn't even good either. What do you mean? Oh, the cartoon one. <sighs> what want- the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? The cartoon one wasn't good. No, you stupid. The second one. Oh. Isn't there like a fifth? There was a second one, and then there's the one and a half. A mess. Which is some bullshit. A mess. The whole thing's a mess. We got Timon and Pumbaa. This is different. But I don't want them. Would you rather have a Timon and Pumbaa movie? No. I don't want none of it. You don't want none of the Lion King? Nothing of it. It's a prequel, though. So isn't the movie a prequel? Maybe it's about Simba. I mean, it'll throw away. And I highly doubt Beyonce will be in it again. No, because they can't afford her again. Beyonce was boring Spin. as fuck. That was, song. That's, they paid for that song that didn't even hit. Nobody cared. Nobody gave a fuck about Spirit. I care. They care. They made a whole album out of it. Uh, the, the, what's the name of it? Black is King? Yeah. That's not not, not, not specifically It's the matter. It's basically what it is. Nah. I don't like Beyonce as Nala. Too boring. I mean, as anything. Stick to being recast, Beyonce. Yeah. Recast Nala. Who's got a sexy voice? You're like, damn. I'm like, trying not to say Scarly. F- Nala's fuck me eyes from the first one? Again with She's like, fuck me eyes. Get this pussy, Simba. I wasn't even thinking about Scarly. I was thinking about a black person. Doesn't have to be. Does it have to be black? Yeah, that's the whole thing. We're not changing Simba because it's my homie Gambino. Donald Glover. Zazzy Beats. No. No. I was thinking of, of an older woman. I don't know why. Isn't that a little weird, though? Nala has, like, a very mature voice, and then you got little baby Simba. Whack movie. Moving on. No, not whack. I'm watching regardless, and you're watching, too. I'm not fucking watching You're again. watching it. I'm the not, guy's I'm not. You're I just watching. watched because of Beyonce, and she's not in it anymore. Well, we'll see. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Snow not so white and the <laughs> Seven Dwarfs. Are they going to make Snow White? An African American? I already showed you the picture of the lady. That wasn't real though. It's, it's been popping out everywhere. But that's like that's like a meme. 
Is it? I don't think so. Who's that actress? I don't know. Orando. We did get the Huntsman movies. were weren't terrible. They're not. They're not. Those are more adaptation of the original Brothers Grimm movies from the nineteen thirties. Um, but they were kind of fun. Going to Thor, I ain't killing shit. Yeah. Uh, this this the the boring lady did an okay job as Snow White. What's her name? You the hate? Stewart. Kristen Stewart. Um. You can have Doc. One of the, one of the dwarves, the main dwarf. Okay. Or do you rather have Dopey? Sure. I can give up Dopey. I'm even willing to give you Snow White. Nah. Make it a gay story. No, nah, she's not gay. No, make make it a dude. Oh. It could be it could be Darren Chris. Sure why not. And his boyfriend. That makes sense. That mean. Would the, would the witch have to be a man too? I mean, Snow White doesn't mean have to be a boy or a girl. I just did the whole movie in my brain. Okay, we got Darren Chris as a Snow White. Mm-hmm. Um, who do you want as a hus- uh, huntsman? Snow White's gay now, y'all. Whether you like it or not. I was thinking of this guy, but he's not like. I want Matthew Bomber as the That's witch what I was think- oh no I was thinking about the as the huntsman based no that I hunting. want the witch I want him to be the beautiful witch yes that makes sense who's gonna be making out on este vato I don't know. Macaulay Culkin can be the no. huntsman no oh my bad ew <laughs> <laughs> he can be the witch's disguise <laughs> don't say ew don't say ew it's disrespectful who do you want I don't Chang know Chang Tatum he's too old yeah. Has to be black. Has to? Now, yeah. Representation, fool. But he doesn't have to be gay in real life. Obviously not. He's portraying it. Huh? He's he's portraying oh, yeah. Leslie Odom. Although he's not that Dan Chris has he vowed to never play another gay character. It's fantasy, bro. It's not really happening, fool. I'm sure we can buy him out. I'm sure there's enough money. <laughs> that like, money. If you're like, bitch, you're going to be Snow White, homie? Who's going to direct it? Ryan Murphy? Me. No, Ryan Murphy. We're directing it. So, no, so, Ryan so Murphy make should... it a good musical. No, 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 no. Ryan Murphy doing too much gay shit. We need a straight guy doing gay shit. That's me. We wild dumb. Let's keep on pushing. An Aladdin sequel. Makes sense, Bubbles. It's just legit. Yes. This is not legit. This is the legit. Who's this fucking source? This is from Screen Rants. Who are they? <laughs> legit. Look at Tiene un candadito y todo el pelo. Why are you mad about Aladdin too? Like it's not going to happen. Because it's not. It's happening. It's just not. I just want to see Mija as Aladdin, as Jasmine again. Watch Charlie's Angel again. Guy Ritchie. Here you go, Bubbles. What you've been waiting for. Make that stupid face. You got the same face as the one I'm looking at. Hunchback. Hunchback of Notre <laughs> Dame. Hunchback. <laughs> Hunchback of Notre Dame, Bubbles. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back. Who do you want from Aladdin? For what? For your LGBT community. I Jafar? Jafar is already is Jafar. Default. You don't want Genie? He's in love with the lady. The monkey? Apu? The carpet? Carpet's asexual. Genie is she's still part gender of the, fluid. She's part of the crew? Genie's gender fluid. Said who? Me. Oh. I mean, genies don't have genders, I guess. Jafar gay. We can move on. I'm peace. Hunchback. You excited, Bubbles? You've been wanting for this? It was announced back in January 2019. Um, Josh Gad is a producer behind it and will potentially star as Quasimodo. What do you feel about that? What? I feel robbed. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it anymore? I don't know who he is. You don't know Josh Gad? No. Olaf? Lefou? Oh. Okay. Okay. He can sing. I would audition, but I think we're too tall. You would audition? Yeah. You're not ugly enough. That's like a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> I can I can be made ugly. Oh, fine. <laughs> I'll do Esmeralda. <laughs> no, you can be the goat. No. You can be Frodo. Frollo. Frollo. <sighs> Frodo is the gayest. Frollo is the gayest of them all. Uh, Esmeralda could be lesbiana. She could be like, I don't want you. And then the twist is like, I don't want you either. What was I going to say, wait? Phoebus. Phoebus. Phoebus and Butthead. 
You excited, Bubbles? John Gad, Quasimodo. I don't want to get excited because I don't think this is legit. Why not? Because to begin with, not many people like this movie. People even remember about it. So it doesn't make much sense for Disney to put that much money in that movie. People would watch. They would watch because I think it would be like something refreshed. If if they did Mulan, Mm -hmm. which I don't think Mulan deserved a thing, it was too soon. It was way too soon. It wasn't even in the 90s. It was still in the 2000s, I think. It was way too soon. That would be my dream to see before I die. This thing? Live action Little Mermaid. Live action Hunchback of Notre Dame. Whatever. Mm -hmm. And live action The Black Cauldron. Oh. I don't think The Black Cauldron is happening. And if your word's going to look like that. That's the perfect idea. It's so fucking dope. It's so fucking dope. You approve Josh Gad as potentially the star? Yes. I approve. Who's going to use Miranda? Oh, I already cast a Priyanka Chopra. She's too old. Technology. We can fix that. Asa Gonzalez. No, no. I would go to the Disney Studios and bat somebody in the head if they cast Asa Gonzalez. Nothing against her. All against her. But she, no. It's all against her. No. <laughs> she no. needs to be able to dance. I don't think Priyanka Chopra is a tad too old. She's she, gorgeous. She's fine. She, I will, I'm all here for giving actresses who are not in their 20s anymore a chance to be still by the time this fucker gets going way priyanka chopra little oldie how about how about her husband as the huntsman and nick jonas anyway let's move along bubbles bambi cgi motherfucking bambi i remember talking about this let's all cry and pour one out for Bambi's mother when he gets shot. I think I've seen Bambi since the first time I ever watched it. Probably like in the eighties? Twenty five years ago. God damn bubbles. Have you? No. I think it's a very boring movie. Yeah. It's like, from the uh, like nothing early much 30s. goes on, like your mom dies and that's But the it. animation though is amazing way. Maybe they can like spice it up and make it somewhat fun. Yeah. I'm thinking Bambi was gay because of those. Look at those lashes, bro. Bambi's the gayest. But then he hooks up with the lady and then he has little Bambi ke- cheering. He's in denial. Okay, she's a beard? Yes. Can so- Thumper be trans? No. No, what's the name of the other, 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 other skunk? Flower. <laughs> I don't even remember her. It's a female. Trans? Sure not. She's non-binary. Okay. We got to mix it up. Sure. It's all about inclusion and culture. Yes. What culture is Bambi? He's giving me also from Holland. <laughs> okay. Where, where are deers from? All over the place. Aren't they from like the frozen? No. There's all over the place. Because remember they move because of the cold? Bambi's Mexican. Bambi Mexican? Yeah. No. <laughs> Maybe they're Italian? Bambino. <laughs> and they just <laughs> made him Bambi? No, you just turned Italian. Bambino. No. You already had Luca. Enough hey, Italian. Bambi. No. Hey, Bambi. Just do what I can do, Bambi. No. We. Literally, this one doesn't matter, eh? Who gives a fuck about Bambi? I have a shirt, a Bambi t shirt. That, but that don't mean you give a fuck. I'm doing his fan. Like, do you care who voices Bambi? I don't think Bambi talks, does he? Towards the end, I think, when he fights. Bambi's a punk ass bitch. <laughs> uh, can you, but you can see Bambi with the CGI, right? Yeah. The Jungle Book and the Lion Kings. Yeah, it's cute. We'll see. It's cute. It's going to be written by Geneva Roberts, the same person behind Captain Marvel, and Lindsay Beer behind Chaos Walking. Keep pushing bubbles. Hercules. We've talked about this before. I thought that one would be higher up. This was announced last year with the Russo brothers producing. And Dave Callahan, who's also behind Chan Chi, is writing the script. Um, Already gave my two cents for Este Compa el Mexican. El Luis Mis. Oh. That's yeah. why that's my vote. Yeah. And. Uh, I can see her as Megara. 
but we got to be Greek, and he's not. He, now we just turned Hercules into Mexicans. They, have, they kind of have to be Greek. I don't know no Greek. I'm sure there's Greek people. I don't know. I I watched the fuck out of Hercules. Yeah. Hercules dope. Yeah. Kind of got tired of him in Kingdom Hearts, mm-hmm. but it's dope. They finally yeah. did him good in the third one. Yeah. The other ones are just like a fucking the Coliseum <coughs> and suck my balls. If you played, if you're a Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts fan, they kind of kind of fucked up a little bit because they're all over the place and it's not good. No. So it's like, uh, but yeah, the last one was a redemption. Who are you drafting from Hercules? Hades? No. Phil? I don't know. No, he's too hateful. Um, 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 Archimedes. Phil's a perv. You think Phil's a perv? Yeah, wasn't he like always like trying to see where he could put her on? Yeah, I think he will get canceled. Well, Nowadays. he was like trying to fuck with uh, Aphrodite and shit. Yeah, he was always trying to kiss ladies. He's kind of like Pepe Le Pew vibes, and if he got canceled, I'd say we cancel Phil too. Why? Because he's a perv. He's half man, half goat. He's not hurting nobody. It's Danny DeVito. He better be Phil again. Well, they better hurry up. And I would like James Woods to also be Hades again. I don't know who that is. He, do, he, you know, you know. Um, is he alive? I think he is. Who are you drafting? Maybe the guy that, you know, the messenger. That has a little wings in his... That's who I said, name. Archimedes. That's his name? I think so. No. No? Percy. Come see him? Perseus. I think that's his name. And the Smith guy. The blacksmith? Yeah. Only two. He's not black. <laughs> <laughs> the blacksmith should be the guy who played Zeus in, Zeus? in the Snyder Cut. I'm confused. The guy who you jerked uh, off to. Uh, yeah. Who should play Zeus? It's got to be a big, dig motherfucker way. No, he's not that old. Are they going to be Zeus Black? Yeah. Idris Elba? Who's the buffest? The Rock. The Rock is no, Zeus. No, no. The Rock not. is Zeus. He's not. The Rock is going to be I'm Zeus. I'm not. I'm not watching. The Black. The, what if they make him black? If they hire him, they're going to they're gonna want to hire that guy. Kevin Hart to be Phil. Phil. I'm not here for that. No. I can't unsee Diego Boneta as fucking Hercules. I think at the, I think we, they casted the guy already, no? I'm not sure. Over the long boats. Yeah. It's probably going to be a white guy. Probably. Pinocchio, uh, Brubbles. Pinocchio is a freaky ass story, man. Yeah. They take little kids and turn them into donkeys. Geppetto gay as fuck? <sighs> Who are you drafting? Geppettos? Yeah, Geppetto is a, it's a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> and Jimmy and Cricket's not too far. <laughs> Jimmy and Cricket right there. Pinocchio is 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 a is Jimmy Cricket is asexual. Okay. The little cat, he's chilling. Is is chilling. <laughs> the the goldfish is a lesbiana. I don't know. I think the fish is trans. The fish is trans. Yeah. Okay. Um, the voice cast will include Joseph Gordon Levitt as Jiminy Cricket. Oh my god. Keegan Michael Key as Honest John. Lorraine Bracco. As Sophia the Seagull, the movie will release exclusively on Disney Plus, though no <sighs> release date has been announced. There, there are a few live action Pinocchios out there. A lot, and I'm I'm, I'm fine with that. But I want to see a Disney I quality think, one. Yeah, I think Disney can do a good job at it. We'll see. I don't care who's Pinocchio. I don't care that Joseph Gordon Levitt is. Who's the fairy? They didn't say. Scarlet could be the fairy. No, I don't want Scarlet. I want Scarlet to take a break. I was thinking of Charlize. No, too old. Too hardcore. She doesn't give me fairy vibes. She looks like she can kill somebody. That's my kind of fairy. <laughs> Let's move along, Bubbles. We got a few more. I'm stoked for this one. The Sword in the Stone, man. No. I mean, no, no, no. redo no. all the King Arthurs. No. Fantastic. No. 
it's been a long it's been stuck in a long production period with the latest major update being appointed to director Juan Carlos Fresno Rosnado from 28 days later 28 weeks later and screenwriter Brian Cogman from Game of Thrones. Unrelated to the Sword in the Stone movie, Disney is also working on Merlin Saga series focusing on the wizards from Sword in the Stone with Ridley Scott. That sounds fucking dope as well. Uh, you wouldn't be down for Sword in the Stone, Bubbles? No. Why not? No. Why? Is it too boring? Is it just a kid pulling out a, 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 a sword out of a stone? I don't know. It's the no. dopest, man. I, don't know. I mean... I guess. I don't know. Who you drafted? I don't know. I don't know. Merlin's faggot. Okay. Um, can we chill with that word, though? <laughs> I know you can say it. Madam Meme. It's trans. Okay. Oh, she's a drag queen. Whatever. Okay. Uh, little Arthur. It's also a gay. Yeah, I got Hey, you're pillaging my Sword in the Storm movie, man. I already gave you Snow White. Jeez. You said three. Jesus Christ. Not from each movie. No, it's a lot. Oh, because we also have to like change their gender and change their race in some of these. That's what they're doing now. What if what if Arthur is Asian, and it's Simu Liu from Chang Chi? Sure, you, why not? you ain't watching. Who's Merlin? Sir Ian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I was thinking of his name. I didn't want to say Magneto. <laughs> But it's like too predictable. But it, it sometimes the best answer is the simplest one. I'll be like, I don't know. Hey, you want him to be a mo? He's got a nice voice. They better hurry up. Better hurry up. Robin Hood, Miss Bubbles. This was announced in 2022. Disney is producing a live action CGI hybrid remake of Robin Hood from 1973. Um, they play where characters play anthropomorphic animals with robin hood and Mer- marion being foxes prince john was a lion little john was a bear so on and so forth disney signed carlos lopez estrada from blind spotting as director and carrie gundelin and another from lady and the tramp boo um but production across the world shut down due to COVID. i don't see anything about no cast but movie will be released on disney plus though it's still early in development i have no attachment anybody can be anybody in this one i don't care who are you drafting though Um, i don't care either but like yeah there's some furry shit furry shit lilo and stitch bubbles also announced in 2020 lilo and stitch will get a live action treatment john m chu from behind crazy risk agents and in the height is set to direct. I'm not crazy about that. Though no other cast or crew has been announced, True is set to work on Disney Plus' series called Willow. I feel like this is another one that's too too soon. Stitch live action is going to look scary, man. <laughs> I feel like we're going to have one of those like Sonic situations. Yeah. That's fair. You have no. You don't give a fuck about Lilo, huh? I hate Lilo and Steve. Why? I hate it. I Why? don't know. I just hate all of it. Hate? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. But hate it. though. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Jesus. And it's so fucking popular. It was the shit. Like it was. It was on the brink of me a little bit too peludo, too old for it. But it was still good. But then it blew up. They did video games and they did series and it just went crazy and crazy and crazy it's and crazy. Very popular. Very, very popular. There's a lot of little insist merchandise everywhere. I don't get it. I, I ain't mad at it, I but I feel it. like it might. I don't know. Stitch live action might be a little bit too creepy. Yeah, I don't care. Lilo lesbiana. Yeah. Fair. Aladdin spinoff. This one was the wildest of the wild. So you probably don't even remember this guy. I do. Prince Anders. Disney's first spinoff from a live action remake will follow Billy Magnuson's character, Prince Anders from Aladdin. Isn't that wild? Isn't that wild? A little bit, yeah. Are you watching this? Yeah. Me too. And finally, the Cruella sequel. So it will probably be called 101 Dalmatians. Mark. Who 
who was the LGBT representation in Cruella? There was a few, wasn't there? The designer oh, the guy. designer guy. See, that's foul. They just make up a guy. We drafted him. We did a better job than Disney did. Why? Because we actually made characters who are already oh. popular. Stitch a lesbian. I mean, uh, <laughs> Stitch a lesbiana. Lilo a lesbiana, bruh? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Good job. I mean, she's a kid. But I mean, still. We know, man. My, Art Diaz knew you were a little fairy when you were fucking five. You can't hide that shit, Bubbles. Alrighty. That's what Disney has in store for us in the live action front. You excited? I don't buy it. I'm sure all of that's going to happen, yes. I They're think not probably, making any new shit. Their new they shit are, flops. but you sh- sh- hate on it. I'd much rather watch any of those than Encanto. Facts. Racist. This is also the opinion of a 30-something-year-old man. Not 30. I'm not even 30 yet. So it's You're not? not the, no, I'm not the target audience, Damn. but still. Who cares? Moisturize, son. And, and with that. This is taking too long. Because well, well, you keep offending me, so I have to like check you. But you offended me back. Do I? I let you fucking draft Disney characters to your LGBT community. Is it going to happen for real? I want all in my heart, yes. Mm. Believe me. Who the fuck are you? A fan. Mm. If I could make the LGBT Snow White, I would. Leave a comment down below that we wildin' and we dumb and we stupid and all that other shit. Uh, what are you excited for from the Disney front? Anything else we talked about? Can you believe it's been five years since Pokemon Go? Do you play Pokemon Go? Would you like to go to the Pokemon Land and all that other shit? How stoked are you for Marvel's What If? Amongst everything else we talked about, is Valkymer deserving of Hall of Fame year and A? And everything else we talked about, leave a comment down below. So like, comment, and subscribe. Share to your Emonies. All that good stuff. Anything you want to say to the beautiful people. Bubbles. Forgot your name. Almost called you Felix because you haven't been here for a while. Say something to the beautiful people, Bubbles. <laughs> I'll say that again. Hi. Okay. That's it, really? Yeah. All right. Eyes and forever, you do you. Jesus. Wait, I wasn't done. We're not done. We're still going. What you want to say? That? Yeah. You suck. You don't want fucking lesbiana, man? Lesbiana's everywhere. That's tight.